the ship that mm. everyone is talking about. She's, she's not going to be yet sailing till November of this year, is she? That's right, November. That's when a maiden season starts. She's already been launched into the water, uh, so we know she floats, which is a good start. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still obviously adding all the finishing touches. Amazing ship. Well, uh, she's called the Quantum of the Seas. You could be on her next May. Let's have a little look at some of the great entertainment on board. Now, the entertainment is going to be spectacular. It's a absolutely out of this world. I mean, this is, again, first of all, bearing in mind, this ship is going to be slightly smaller than the Oasis and the Allure. So we're going down in size, but we're upping the amount that's being offered. It's absolutely incredible. Um, loads of firsts at sea, including the first ever bumper cars at sea. Uh, you're, seeing, uh, you're seeing some of the, the, the kind of wonderful uh, aerial work that's going to be in 270, which is an amazing, uh, amazing multimedia venue where you can have aerial artists, live rock bands, so much going on and great, great food. And um, you've also, that itself is all part of Cplex, which is going to be the largest sports and entertainment complex at sea. That includes the bumper cars, roller skating and a circus school, um, complete with a flying trapeze. It's <laughs> actually amazing. That thing on top was the North Star and it rotates 360 degrees round. You, you know, you go up in it. Uh, and I've not even mentioned the fact they've also got skydiving. They've got a skydiving like, tube and you literally just there and it kind of blows up compressed air up at you and it's like a skydive. No. First ever time. It's an amazing, amazing ship. Um, I could talk about it all day, but this well, is going to completely set so many records. We need to get ourselves on it and so do you. Do. There's a chance tonight um, of going on this gorgeous ship over to India, the Southeast Asia, um, for an amazing price there, under £1,750. So... Let's, uh, let's talk you through. And it starts off with a flight to Dubai, doesn't it? That's right. We're giving you two nights uh, stay there. Great chance to explore this amazing part of the world in the middle of a desert where nothing existed 20 years ago. Now, of course, it's a wonderful, glitzy, over-the-top and overexposed movie set of a city. Um, everything's the biggest, the tallest, the first of its kind. Uh, lots of sand, of course. You can even go sand surfing. Go and see the camel racing, the horse racing. There's camel beauty contests. There's some real lookers. And, of course, there's the world's <laughs> greatest hotel, according to them at least. It's a seven-star Burj Al Arab, and it's got an underwater restaurant. You have to get a submarine to go down to actually eat in there. It's incredible. And it's shaped like a sail. You can see it in the corner there. Um, this place is full of shopping malls. In fact, it's a shopping mecca. And you've also got the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, 124 floors. Uh, the views are incredible, and there's an amazing fountain, set of fountains. And there's the Dubai fountains outside. And they're built by the same people who do the Bellagio in, in Vegas. Oh, really? So they've done some music, yeah. and they have shows. Um, you can do hot air, balloon ride. Um, and of course, people like Gary Rose, Gordon Ramsay, they all have wonderful restaurants out there at a place called Grosvenor House, uh, Grosvenor House Hotel. So go there if you want the really quality food, or go to what they call the Al Difia Road for really good value Lebanese, Iranian, and Indian food. You can really blow your senses with, with, with kind of culinary taste here. It's amazing. You know, it's a place that I really want to visit, uh, and I'm sure I'm going to love it, but I like the fact that we're there for, for two nights, so you get a real taste of it, don't Not you? Not just that, because then you get your first overnight on board oh, the you ship, do. Sean, as well. So, so you, get three, you get three days and, and, and three overnights yeah. there in total. Perfect. Brilliant. Um, um, so after your two nights stay there, this is where your crew starts, doesn't it? That's right. You get on board the ship, you have that other night in Dubai, and then you head off, and your first port, of course, is Muscat. At. And this is a magnificent old port. It was once home um, to the Queen of Sheba, amongst others. Uh, and uh, again, beautiful, beautiful old town caught between these rugged terracotta mountains and this long, graceful waterfront. A couple of relaxing days at sea before we hit Cochin. I love this place. I'm a huge fan of India. Anyway, you've got an overnight here. This is the Chinese fishing nets. And they've been held up there um, for, I think it's about eight, well, since the 14th century. Oh, so a long think time that now. Yeah. And they've made a few repairs in that time, I guess. But uh, incredible. Still dating back to there. This is an amazing place. Again, this is part of Kerala. Uh, and you've got the Arabian Sea on, along to the west. It's got one of the finest natural harbours in the world. Um, and what I recommend is going and doing a tuk-tuk ride, going and seeing some of these, the elephants. A tuk-tuk ride, of course, around Fort Cochin. Uh, it's incredible. It's one of the joys to be out and smell the spices, to, to see the local people. And Fort Cochin is one of the best examples. You've even got home, you've got Tudor houses there. You've got temples and churches. It's an incredible place. And you can do a tour in about three hours, it takes normally. Um, and the other big thing here is the backwaters cruise. That it's no is the Venice of the East, loads of ca canals. I think it's 1,150 kilometres in total. They are so beautiful. It's like going into a different world um, and literally just twist and turn, incredibly peaceful, uh, drop dead gorgeous. That's two things to do either Port, uh, Fort Cochin or the Backwaters Cruise. You'll have to pick. 
um, because it's you know they, they've both taken all day. Uh, and I know, Keith, you're very well travelled. That's one of your favourite favourite places. I love isn't it. it. Yeah. I love yeah. Uh, you've got several days at sea, haven't you? Yeah, and then we hit Penang in Malaysia. This is fantastic. A small island off the west coast of Malaysia, uh, known after its nut, which you'll see some of the local residents chewing, it turns their teeth a wonderful colour. Uh, loads of wonderful, uh, clever street art here uh, by a Lithuanian board artist. I'll let you work that one out yourself. But there's some great welded iron caricatures. Look out for them as you head around the town. Uh, also, head out to the Street of Harmony. It's a very unusual place. One of the only streets in the world where you've got an Indian temple, a Chinese temple, an Anglican church, and, um, and also um, a, a Catholic church and a mosque, all in the same street. Absolutely incredible. Uh, does great for world harmony. There's a wonderful butterfly farm here I recommend. And the big thing is Keklok Sea. It's called the Temple of Paradise on Penang Hill, and it's the largest Buddhist temple in Southeast Asia. An incredibly peaceful place to go and contemplate and see the world. It's incredible. And then, um, oh, Singapore. Yeah. And we're overnight no. here as well, aren't we? Overnight in Singapore. Two nights uh, and then two nights stay at the end. Uh, a great chance for you to just go and enjoy one of the world's greatest eating capitals. I love this place, Sean. You're going to see some amazing video footage now of the locals dancing and enjoying themselves. This is great for shopping. You can go down Orchard Road and, and shop for Gucci and Vuitton and far more. You can do with a night safari where they've got 900 nocturnal animals. It's an incredible thing. It's the best tour to do in the whole of Singapore. If you want to go back into the history, go to the Raffles Hotel go to the long bar, get one of the famous Singapore slings. That's a great refreshing thing to do. Uh, this is the During Bird Park. It's the largest Wilkin uh, bird aviary. And that is the Ocean Marina Bay Sands Hotel. And you'll see that ship sitting on top of three separate skyscrapers. It took three months to raise. It's an amazing experience. And the, and the views must be yeah, The views are incredible, yeah. by day or by night. There it is again, you just got a glimpse of it. Oh. You can sit there having a cocktail in their, in their kind of, after, they've got this whole, basically a mini kind of ocean, a sea with sand I, and everything. I, have to, I, think, I think the itinerary on this one it, is, is outstanding. And the fact that you're going to be on board this brand new ship for Royal Caribbean, this is her maiden season. And, and the price, you know, I'd expect this to be, I don't mean fully, I'd expect this to be a premium price, but for three weeks. It's incredible. For three weeks on a brand new ship where everyone's going to be kind of really kind of a big scrum. When these tickets went on sale for the first, for the, you know, for the first ones, there was such a massive queue because everyone wants to go on here, Sean. It's an incredible, because there's the bumper cars we were talking about. Um, you've also got 18 different restaurant options, part of dynamic dining. You've got the hit stage show, Mamma Mia, on board as part of the entertainment. Um, it's an incredible experience. Royal Caribbean's first first ice bar first ever ice bar um, they'll, they'll do it real style and Jamie Oliver's got his brand new restaurant there that's as well, part of it? the 18 yeah and we're giving you a chance as part of this deal to have a free meal uh, yeah. if you book um, think, they're doing away with set times it's all eat when you want it's said incredible we had, said we had a good show today didn't I um, let's have a, a quick reminder now of everything that is included so you've got your all of your return flights of course and your overseas transfers you are going to get an extra two nights in Dubai and an extra two nights in Singapore and flight crews always choose Really, really premium hotels. Um, you can upgrade in Dubai as well. Now, this hotel this is a world famous one, isn't it? Yeah, a really, really, really cracking hotel for you to enjoy there. We only, we only give you the very best. Uh, and this and this upgrade that you've got there, yeah, the Jeremiah Beach Hotel. Yeah, you know, I've, I've seen pictures, yeah. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and you get overnights in Dubai, Kachin, and Singapore there as well. Um, and only deposit needed today, of course.